Welcome to Max Cut. I've always had a thing for these Datsuns. It was my first vehicle, my 17th vehicle, my 25th vehicle, 34th, and 46 and 47. Yeah, I've had a few vehicles in my day. When I finally got the Datsun, I knew I wasn't going to be putting bumpers on it. And the way the lights stuck out beyond the basket that they were in, I knew I wanted to change that. And I hadn't seen anyone take those lights and flip them upside down and put them on the opposite side and use them that way. So that was, that was my starting point. From there I tried several different versions. I wish I would have recorded those, but eventually I came up with something that was acceptable trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the grill and I had gotten a bunch of this polycarbonate so I was cutting shapes on the CNC trying to come up with something I liked and no I don't like that no I don't like that and then I came up with this design and I knew that was a runner unfortunately I machined the cuts exactly the thickness of the material so there is no tolerance in there whatsoever. I was not able to get this stuff to go flat. So I end up with a curve, which in itself is all right, but it's not pushed together all the way. I first bought the 76 and less than a week later, I came across this 72, which was in far better condition. So I bought that one too. Both of the dashes were cracked on them. The 72 was much worse. And I decided to go to the 72 anyways. I fixed all the cracks. And then for some reason decided that I wanted to prime it before I put carbon fiber on it. That ended up costing me in the end. You'll see that in the video. But it was a learning process. I'm like, oh, what, how, how difficult will it be to just skin this? Of course, if I would have used a vacuum press or a vacuum bag technique, it would have been a whole lot easier, but I didn't. Um, I have yet to do that. I've been fiberglass in 35 years, and I have yet to do it with the vacuum or any of that. There will be a couple of videos probably coming on the dashes and what I've done with those and what I plan to do with those because i got some good ideas there too. Then came the wiring and the gauges. And why in the world are there four different colored wires on this one? Welcome to Datsun. The biggest surprise I guess I've had with working on the Datsuns is all of the electrical issues. And just failures at connections and the switches and all that. There's quite a few videos coming probably on the different wiring and how to address that. I put an alarm with a proximity sensor in it so I don't need to grab the keys ever. Then comes the doors. I've tried a few different varieties of door panels and just not find exactly what I like. The latest was the the rising sun pattern to match the sub box. I installed power windows and power locks and tried it with a speaker in the door and without a speaker in the door. The rear hatch is actually two different hatches that I made into one. Took the best parts of each one. Turned out great. All the flares you can see in the my other video with the link right here. This is just a sample of the videos that are going to be coming here soon. Please like and subscribe. That way you don't miss when they come out.